Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Megan Young about the Kissing Booth 3, which is going to be dropping on Netflix August 11th. Thank you for doing this. Welcome to Pop Turnative. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited to chat with you. It's pretty crazy because, you know, you, I'm sure you remember this. I mean, Kissing Booth 2 came out last year and then it wasn't like that long ago then Kissing Booth 3 was announced. Yeah. So, (laughs) and it's just crazy that it's finally like coming out now. Season, like like the third, the third, um, third movie. Like, has it hit you that it's coming out? No, not really. It's kind of, it's so surreal because it's been, I mean, we also shot the films like it feels like forever ago now. We shot the second and third one at the same time. So it feels like so weird that it it was so long ago, but it feels so present, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty cool too, where, you know, the movie obviously has the focal point characters and everything, but there's a bunch of you that have been there since the beginning that continue to show up again, which is awesome. (laughs) I know the whole ensemble cast. I know that our director Vince was really adamant that he get everybody back, like every single person that was in the first movie. I think there might've been, two people that didn't make it back because of conflicts of other work. Mm -hmm. But it was awesome to just be reunited with everyone, have everyone back again. It was so cool. Absolutely. Obviously, like from Kissing Booth 1 to 3, there's, you know, a storyline, there's things going on, there's relationships and everything. Um, Is it safe to say we're going to continue to kind of see more growth and relationship complications in Kissing Booth 3? Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. I mean, you'll always see growth, I guess, in characters. Otherwise, you wouldn't have story. But yes, is my answer. (laughs) (laughs) Because I think, think, you know, the trailer dropped. Everyone freaked out. It was a big deal. And... (laughs) It was it was a big deal. Like I remember being on social media when it dropped and just seeing yeah. like <laughs> Yeah, I think our fans are like super supportive of the whole franchise, which is so amazing. But when we announced it, it's like everywhere online just like blew up with everyone yeah. looking for the looking for the trailer and wanting to watch it, watching it like several times and trying to see clues in the trailer. What's it like stepping in the shoes of your character and like doing like more than one film with the same character? What's that like for you, Megan? It was it was exhausting for the the second and third ones just because we were shooting them at the same time. And it was kind of confusing some days, you know, like you'd get to set and start with a scene that was in the third movie and then you'd be doing two scenes from the second movie and then you'd end the day in the third movie again. So it was a bit of a chop and change. Yes. But it's been such a privilege to be able to play a character through different stages and through that journey and yeah. be able to expand her storyline. And yeah, it's been amazing. Absolutely. When people watch these films, there's going to be a lot kind of happening and going on, but what are you hoping they get out of it specifically like takeaway wise when they watch these films? Like you want them to have a good time, of course, but like what yeah. else? I think something that the films have always done the first and second films Um, they've always brought so much joy to people. And the messages that I've often gotten have been things like, I was going through a really dark time and you guys helped me. You were my friends during that time. Or, you know, people were having issues of their own with their own friends or their boyfriend or girlfriend and they watched our film and they were able to connect with that and find comfort in that. And I I hope that happens in the third film, too. I think it's going to be another one to just add as like a feel good film that we're welcoming you you back as part of our family because you are a part of our family. The fans are a part of the franchise. The third one, I will say, is probably the most fun. It's like the best way to kind of say goodbye. And there's a lot of amazing things that happen. And it's just like pure joy. You and seem, I hope that that's what they take away from it. That was that's such a good like, 
that's like a tease. But, but I know, like, <laughs> I know. I feel like I'm just like dangling carrots every time I answer these questions. Because I'm like, man, I wish I could tell you, but I can't. But it's just, trust me, it's amazing. It's so much fun. And I don't think, I honestly don't think anyone's going to be disappointed. I'm, I think it's going to be the perfect way to end the franchise. I'm curious about the mindset when, because there were two obviously huge announcements for the cast when they were making yeah. Kissing Booth 2 and then when you found out you were making a third Kissing Booth 3. What, yeah. Was it similar kind of feelings and emotions for you? Like when you found out it was a sequel and then you do the sequel and then you find out there's a trilogy happening? Like what was that yeah. like? It was so I I got an email from my agent who was like, well, they want they want you back because they're doing not just one, but two. So I found out pretty early on that there were two films and it was very surreal. I I'm actually from South Africa. So I was in Cape Town when I was cast as Rachel and I was living there when we shot the first film. And then I moved my whole life to Canada and then to get this email to be like, oh, yeah, you've got to come back home for four months and shoot two more films I was like okay this is like weird life thing happened like you cannot predict what's happening in your life um so yeah it was just surreal surreal is always the word that keeps coming back because I don't think it's really hit me even now because I go through my day-to-day -day life I clean my house and do my thing and then I'm like <laughs> oh yeah by the way you're part of a franchise and people love it and you've got all these fans I'm like oh yeah absolutely <laughs> doing my laundry and with being part of this franchise, you are part of two families. You are part of the Kissing Boo family, yeah. but you're also part of the Netflix family. Yeah. How does it feel to be part of the Netflix family, Megan? Amazing. I feel like I'm such a genuine fan of Netflix. I think that they are so amazing in how they invest in telling so many different stories or such diversity in their storytelling. Yep. And they're always looking for new voices. Oh, my cat is just popping over to say hi <laughs> Sorry, this that's is, awesome this is blue he thinks it's about him but it's not um anyway netflix is great no i genuinely i genuinely think that netflix is such an amazing platform and it's just you know it's it's constantly striving to give so many people access to amazing art mm -hmm. and i think that's very valuable I feel like there's been a shift now in content where, you know, the kissing booth has a lot going on and it's a comedy and it's coming of age, but there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot yeah. of important things that are happening too. A, little, a lot of, a lot of lessons in there as well. When did you kind of see as an actor, as a storyteller, the shift in content where it wasn't just like a comedy, like goofy slapstick where there's like messages and important things in content now, right? It's not just kind of yeah. like a passive watch. I mean, I think I'm, I'm a little bit of a purist in terms yeah. of like theater and film. And I feel like you should be mm -hmm. saying something with your art. And I always look at the audience walking away and what they're taking from it. And ultimately, you want people to feel something when they watch your work. And with Kissing Booth, you saw that kind of shift. I feel like there's been such parallels in so many ways with what happens in the stories with what's happening with the world. I feel like the world's coming of age, just like our characters are coming mm. of age. And especially during a time where young voices are being heard and they're very loud and they have an opinion and they want to, they want to speak out. Those are also the same voices that are supporting our films and love our films and enjoy them and obviously see value in them. Um, yeah. Absolutely. You mentioned, you know, like the fan base is incredible. The fans are so passionate. Not only are they passionate, they're gl it's global like they're they're kissing yeah. booth fans like from all over the world i it, love it, i love it it like blows my mind some every now and then i'll do like one of those like question boxes on yeah. instagram or something and it's people from literally all around the world from all different continents all different ages all different backgrounds it is incredible that the story has touched so many yes. people and I think that there's a lot of sort of universal themes in the films as well, which people connect to. And that has just been so eye-opening. And I've been in such awe of, of the people that love this film and how passionate they are about it. A hundred percent. I just love how 
there's no kind of like barriers anymore with content. Like I watch content from Netflix from all around the world and I love it. Like, I just love, I love that. Like I love like Ragnarok yeah. on Netflix for Norway. Right. It's like huge all over the place. And you have, ac- we have access. Like I remember growing up in Canada, I never I had access to like a few shows here and there. And now I have like access to yeah. everything. Like I love the access. I know that access and that allows for, you know, so many possibilities. And I think that then inspires people because they see so many different stories. They see different things that might draw them, whether they're, you know, whether it's like a rom-com like ours or a documentary, you can kind of choose your path through that. And I think film is such an important medium. I think it's such a way to um, talk to people like directly, you know, as opposed to feeling like you have these voices I don't know, somewhere else, <laughs> if that makes sense. That's a very oh, yeah, strange, does. abstract oh. comment. Oh, but for sure. know, when you're watching these these stories and you feel like you relate to them, that is such a powerful thing. Um, yeah. yeah, no, 100%. And you mentioned you know, you're a purist in theater. I mean, have you noticed the evolution of the rom-com a little bit? Like, the rom-com is changing, I find. Like, it's not just all, like, yes. slapstick. Like, it's changing a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I think also you you see a reflection of the current world in different yep. rom-coms that are coming out and just different sense of humor, different dynamics, different relationship dynamics, um, questioning what relationships look like, questioning the typical choices that characters might make at the end of a movie, at the beginning of a movie, those things are being challenged. And that is directly linked to our society having these discussions. And then you kind of see it reflected. Is it like art re- imitating life or life imitating art? Who knows? It's exactly. Common. And you're obviously, you know, <laughs> you're playing Rachel. You're acting in the Kissing Booth movies. But of course, <laughs> you know, everyone is, gets gets experienced and gets curious with, you know, maybe working behind the camera, like writing, directing, wearing many hats. Yeah. I mean, obviously, acting is something you're focusing on. But do you want to maybe experiment and go behind the camera and write and yeah. direct and produce as well, Megan? Absolutely. I'd love to direct. I think that would be kind of my next like direct produce. Um, I would like to write too, but I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to write about and what I want to say. But directing, I think I've learned so much in my career about what I like in a director and how I like to work. And I kind of want to take that and work with other actors there's also just not enough female uh, directors. So I want to throw my hat in the ring too. Um, but that's definitely something that I would like to do in the near future. A hundred percent. Megan, thank you so much for coming on Popternative. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy we finally made it happen. Yeah, this, this interview <laughs> is like a year in the making, it feels yeah. like. <laughs> it's been so awesome. Well, uh, thank you for having me. Of course. So it's it's... Coming out August 11th on Netflix, the third movie, Kissing Booth yeah. 3. That That's crazy. Like, it's oh. crazy. I remember when the first one was, like, announced. I know, and I know. was, like, three. <laughs> I know. And I keep thinking of our, like, what do you call it? The little, like, title line thing where it's, like, end of an era, beginning yes. of everything else. And I was like, oh, my God, I- <laughs> it really is. It really is the end of an era. So um, they're going to be yeah. able to watch it August 11th on Netflix. Yes. And um, where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? I'm mostly on Instagram, youngmegan underscore. You can find me other places, but I don't really do anything. So I'm not <laughs> going to send you. <laughs> I kind of just hang out on TikTok and Twitter and like read and look at everybody else. Yeah, that, so you, like, that's the thing with yeah. TikTok. Like I have an account, but like I don't have an account, if you know what that yeah, means. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I kind of just enjoy watching everyone else and seeing what they're up to. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this, but I like Instagram. You can come look at me on Instagram. <laughs> Amazing. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes, popturnive.com for other content as well. You're going to be able to catch Megan Young and the rest of the amazing cast and cast in Kissing Booth 3, August 11th on Woo-hoo, Netflix. Yeah. Until next time, this is <laughs> Megan and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.